The results America has been waiting for are in. <laughs> From Oregon to Texas, Ohio to Alabama, the committee has spoken and we have our first results from the CF people. And lots of fun to get to on this two-hour edition of Inside College Football, presented by Sleep Number. Two Big Teners at the top, four Big Ten in all, four SEC, one Big 12, one ACC, one Mountain West, and Notre Dame making the first top 12. And we welcome you to the show. Adam Zucker alongside Randy Cross, Aaron Taylor, Rick Neuheisel, Brian Jones. Very similar to the AP poll, by the way, almost exact, one through 17, except for a couple little do si -dos. Uh, Your initial take, we got the top 25 down there for you. Uh, obviously, very close, as you point out, to the AP poll, and totally understandable. I still don't think Indiana's getting enough respect mm -hmm. because of the name on the front of their jersey. Time Say it will again. Tell. Mm. Name on the front of their jersey, yep. time will tell. I did it exactly. Every win by 14. <laughs> uh, and more. then I thought SMU kind of got the short end of the stick. I don't mm -hmm. know that they're being appreciated enough given that their one loss is to undefeated BYU, who also got slighted in my mind. I, I, I love where you're headed, Coach. I, I agree. Indiana, and we've all been saying it, we give them big props. They've earned it. We don't have to give them anything. On both sides of the ball, they should be higher in, in these initial rankings. The way they are just bludgeoning their opponents. 47 straight a week ago, uh, that's not a lot of respect that committee is showing Indiana right now. And SMU, come on. They lost an undefeated team right now. I think they should be higher. Yeah, I mean, the great thing is you look down that list, that top 25 at least, or even the top 12, how many of those teams are going to be playing each other? <laughs> and if, if not in the regular season, in a conference championship game. So this will all sort of settle yep. itself out, which is the delightful thing about it because everybody hyperventilates <laughs> about who's getting the shaft or who's getting <laughs> ranked rank too high. I was calm. Yeah. But, it all, but, but it all comes down to the same metrics. Yep. Opinions. Thank Got you. Nothing to do with facts. It's all about opinions. Yep. It's interesting. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, Randy, because what you're bringing up is really the system that we have. When you have a conference that add four more teams and remove the divisions, there's some inequity in schedules. Oh, Not yeah. all schedules are created the same. So yep. you see all these one loss teams, the four from the Big Ten, the four from the SEC. Not that they're all one loss, but this thing is going to be chaotic at the end. The thing that stood out to me was Boise being in that 12 spot all alone. You got Army at the 25th spot, but because other teams like Cincinnati, UCF, and others decided to make the jump to the big boys, Boise's sitting there going, saying, thanks, y'all. They're a good team that looks to stand alone. If they went out, they're going to the first ever college football playoff. And they're yeah. going to be a tough out. No doubt. Yeah, they would be the, uh, the group of five rep at this point should they win the Mountain West Championship. Uh, the bracketing is also fun mm -hmm. to, to look at, but again, all these things have to sort themselves out, such as Ohio State being number two for the CFP, but because Oregon's ahead of them, they would be the five seed. By the way, athletic directors, they'll be okay with five, six, seven, eight. That's a home game, yep. especially in the north during the wintertime. Watch out. So 